<laughs> man, these people, man, fuck these people. And they gonna come out here and try to tell us that we speaking lies. You know? We're evil. Like I said, you know, they gonna die. Hey, that's true. That's true. You can't argue with him. Loyal to them for they have gold and the way of pain and say greedily after the era of the last of the world. You say greedily? Greedily, dog. Greedily. Greedily. Hey, man, that's the spirit of greed. It is the spirit of greed out here, though. Just like the scriptures say, the love of money is the root of all evil. And the love of money is what got our people all fucked up, man. Like, we get on any social media site, and all of our women, they're going to have stacks of hundreds in their pictures. Come on, I'm about mine. You know? Oh, that's all this shit. Yeah. They got their income tax money spread all out the bed. And now they got that new thing with Jake. Who they, uh, they got their little videos on Facebook or whatever, and they're taking stacks of hundreds and just doing this. You know? It's all about the money. It's all, it's all the music's about. It's all about that money. But that money's just trash. That shit is trash. It's a bunch of paper. But, you know, man, I, that's why, man. And you can see why the Lord is going to kill everybody. Or well, damn near everybody. Oh, shit. China just put that 25% tariff on the United States, uh, I think, meat import. Right there. Oh, see, that's the spirit. That's fucking up the uh, pork industry. That's good. Fuck the pork industry. You ain't supposed to be eating no goddamn pork. Shit, that's the big pork. Yeah, man. fuck it. Eat what you want. Yeah, man. Yeah, you want to eat pork, go eat it. If, you, if you're a woman, you want your pussy to stink and have worms in it, go eat some pork. I mean... Pork is the most disgusting, fucking filthy animal on the planet. You might as well go get a, some fucking dried up dog turds, call it wheat mini thins, and pour some milk on it and eat that. You know what I mean? You know how the turds get all white and crusty? Be looking like a shredded wheat mini thin? Go eat that. You think about you eat, they actually eat pigs, bro. I mean, I used to eat that shit too, I know, but damn. You know it ain't right when you smell it. Eat they eat alligators. They eat got. How you gonna eat an alligator? Alligator is supposed to eat you. Alligator. They eat alligator. They I eat. mean, they got it down to the heart. How they gonna eat that bitch, man? Alligator. They eat squid. They call squid. Uh, uh what? That you? They serve that at a fine dining restaurant. How is eating a squid it's fine dining? Squid, octopus, snails. That's disgusting. Eat oh, they you can't judge. I got another wisdom of sound for that one. You can't judge. Wisdom. Right there. Eating it? anything. Oh, they shall judge the nation. That's it right there. And, and Read really, that one. We can look at eating anything as a small matter, but really it's not a small matter, man. The scripture said how we can judge this even the smallest matter, man. And eating pork is not a small right, matter. That's not a small matter, man. Just eating anything in your diet, man. That's not a small matter. Now look at the book of Leviticus and look how long and lengthy it is, man. <laughs> you guys are Jews? Yeah, we're Jews. We're Israelites. Israelites, that's right. Hebrew Israelites. Who are you? That's our nationality. That's our rightful nationality. What's your nationality? You're Muslim. Uh, that's not a nationality, though. It's not a nation. Yeah, it's a false religion. Hey, get that scripture. Uh, hey, quick preset though about the judge. It's Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 8. We can't judge though, right? Right. right. Listen. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people, <laughs> and the Lord shall reign forever. Yeah, there it is. So we can't judge. Actually, the scripture said we're going to judge. We're going to not only judge, but we're going to rule over all nations. That's right. That's right. So they're going to say we can't be judges. But the scripture said. Then we're going to rule over all nations being judges. So y'all ain't making no sense, you know, when y'all speak, man. You know, most people, what's the uh, scripture say? They just said it was Oh, okay. What's that scripture about holding your tongue and all that? Ecclesiastes? It's 
best of them. Wait, say it again? To give the offering of food, Ecclesiastes. Yeah. Oh, nah, you good, whatever you got. You trying to come to the house of the Lord? Yeah, it is Ecclesiastes 5 or something. Because people always come, I, I can't be judging. I would be out there judging people, though. We're going to judge and we're going to keep judging. That's actually all we do when you come out here. Right? You just be judging. You be judging left and right. Jeez. Someone got blasted. That sounds like a bomb just dropped. Let me read this real quick. First Corinthians 2, 15. But he that is spiritual judges all things. Oh, what's that? First Corinthians 2? First Corinthians 2, 15. Huh? He that is spiritual judges all things. Yet he himself is judged of no man. That's the God of the scripture. <laughs> and that's like we can judge we can judge all these things but we can't be judged that's right. That's right. and that's crazy that sounds you know messed up and hypocritical mm -hmm. that's because we in the spirit though that's right. and when you're in the spirit you can't be even though we still sin and we still do messed up stuff sometimes but we're in the spirit okay right we're, we're, we're coming in, we're coming in a righteous manner yeah in a righteous, in a righteous way mentality Way. Like I said, because people can't get it. Because when you're that's in the right. spirit, you're not under the law. That's right. That's what, but you know, people would never understand that. Oh, you just do it all. Oh, now we're going off now. <laughs> but that's true. That's a hell of a stomach. It really is. Because we telling people to keep the law, but we're not under the law. They can't get that. So there's some things y'all just can't get. So we, are, we said we are under law, but the grace, right? We still gonna follow them laws though. We ain't stupid. You gotta be stupid to not follow the laws. What it say, those that leave it, leave it alone, so God. Yeah. Like you ain't gonna I mean, cause actually in your spirit is natural. Cause What's if you, up, man? Uh if you in the spirit though and you really believe in this truth, you're you're you just gonna naturally gravitate towards keeping the law. That's just gonna be natural. Because the law and actually the law itself is natural. When you think about it. How the law just makes sense naturally, you know? It makes sense according to nature. Because those laws are there to, you know, to keep everything in balance. There's a reason why the Lord said don't mix all the different seeds together on the earth. Because you fucking up the balance of nature, you know? There's a reason why the Lord said don't uh, don't have sex with a man. No, one man go up in another man's booty hole. Cause that, that's how disease gets distorted and all that. You know, you messing up the balance of nature. So all, and really, all the laws in the old. Oh, that's See disgusting. What the fuck? He ain't trying to pick it up. Shit. <laughs> 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 These black bitches will fuck him before they fuck us, man. Oh man. You know. Just up, to be man. a filter. Just I can't. No, we can't get no love. It's like this. You can't. You really can't. Okay. Especially once they see you out here teaching the Bible, then you yeah. definitely get no love. None. Yeah. Find out who you're with yeah. <laughs> the world. They really. The world. Hey, let me get that scripture. Well, I got something right I'll here. I'll go ahead. This is Brood 4 1. For this is the book of the commandments of the Most High, and the law that endure forever. Oh, the law that endure forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. I and mean, that's just common sense, though. Because what happens if you have sex with another man's wife? He's going to blow your top off. You out of there. The Lord's with him. Yeah, the Lord's with him. Just like OJ killed Nicole Simpson. Just like all kind of people got killed. What happens if like, we used to go into the pork? If you eat pork all the time, you can get obese, fat, got diabetes, all kind of shit. You be all fucked up. Every law is there to help you. What's, what's the law about uh, what happens if you let your wife in your house when she's on her period? Oh, you're going to go crazy. There's a reason why the Lord said you have to put her out, put her ass out. Because she got to be in solitude, bro. When a woman's on her, she's going crazy. I have her own shit. Yeah. Woo. There's a reason they did that so the man could keep his sanity. Yeah, because I hate the smell of blood. Yeah, that too. You actually got the, the blood. Because it's something to that blood. Yeah. If you're in tune with your wife, man. You smell, you smell that shit. Yeah, yeah. What's you gotta stay, you gotta stay out the house. You gotta go to the bar. Cause <laughs> that beer is gone. Go cause, yeah, cause you might be getting nasty. You get weak. You try to might hit it when she's on her period. You know, so you ain't you ain't supposed to do that. 
That's going off. That's just nasty. But what's some other laws? Uh, there's a lot of different laws. You know, the Sabbath. Oh yeah, the obvious one. Yeah, the, obviously yeah, the Sabbath. So we gotta keep the Sabbath wide, so you get rest. Why haven't you been just working every day, nonstop? Where are you gonna drop dead of exhaustion? So all them laws make sense. You keep working, you keep productive. Yeah. So there's a reason why all these laws is here. They're there to help you, obviously. everybody said we saved by grace and not the law but that right there clearly said that we're not supposed to sin and sin means we're breaking the law most but you know people think a sin is just something that's bad but they don't understand a sin got a technical definition a sin ain't just some shit that you think is bad okay a man having sex with a what an 18 year old man having sex with a 15 year old girl is not a sin all right, me, me having sex with multiple women who are not married, that is not a sin. If I'm married to a woman, and if I have sex with a with another woman who is not married, that's not a sin. Sure. See, that's big. That's making a lot of news now, too. A lot of these motherfuckers get caught having sex with a girl that's 15, 14, 15, 16, and they're getting locked up and shit. Oh, that's fucked up, Those man. Those are the that's coming up against probably the truth of that time. Shit, these days, if you don't snatch him up young, man, the whole neighborhood's gonna hit it. They gonna run a bukkake on him. So I'd say, I'd be up on the bottoms. I'd be seeing the little fine little girls. Now I'm not messing with no little girls. They have, I ain't done. They gonna get me locked up. I would, though, and the kingdom and shit would be smashing. Sure. Before we get to the kingdom, we go to Oh, yeah. We're gonna have to take care of him to save him. Right. We'll be that savior. When we leave here, we're going out of style, man. Right. Fine bitches and home. Yeah, because when the hell breaks loose, these women, they're going to be looking for protection. Right. What, you going to take it to old ho? Oh, hell. Well, I man, she got something to offer. <laughs> something to bring to the table. Old shit. ho? No. <laughs> Not an old ho, but maybe she, what about your girl? Old like, ho? I was thinking about your girl about uh, The Walking Dead. Uh, what's that bitch? Uh, the crazy bitch. The gangster bitch. The old one. The yeah, the old one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she's cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, she's bitch, I'm talking cool. about a hoe like that. Yeah, she's actually cool. Yeah, give me one of them. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. But those don't exist. But she ain't gonna be gangster though. Yeah, that is, that is <laughs> imaginary. Yeah, she a little bit too hard. Dude. You watch it too much TV. Yeah, they made her too perfect of a character. Oh, man. yeah. You know, but I do like her character though. Oh, Carol. That's Carol, yeah, Carol. that's it. That's it. Yeah. Because these bitches gonna be in poor. Oh, yeah, but I'll tell you, I see some little young girls down in the hood. They was just like a whole gang of like six of them. Right. They had to be at least 13 to 15 years old or something, but they was all fully developed, all got the breasts, the booties. Delicious. And it, what do you think they're doing? They're walking around the neighborhood at nighttime. What do you think they're out there doing? Right, right. They're out there looking for dick. Right. You know, that's like, you know, which is actually a natural thing, but it's supposed to be well, uh, a court. According to the law, though, according to the law, like in the kingdom, they going they gonna be running around by themselves like that, cause you know they know in that in that, in that age they need a man. They looking for a man, cause when a woman gets to that age, they need a man. They have to have it. Yeah, they gotta have it. They'll go crazy if they don't get it. It's like when a cat go in heat. That motherfucker gonna go crazy. They gonna escape that house. Like all like the teenage girls, they always escape in the house, go get some dick. You'll see the news is making a lot of news headlines too. A lot of these teachers are fucking with the boys. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these teachers are actually fucking the students. Which tells 12, you what? 13, 14 years old. They're not, they're not kids, and that's not child molestation yeah, either. They're grown ass true. men. Yeah, but this world, they get, well, they proposed you shouldn't be out there like that. They, they shouldn't be out there like that, but right, it, right. Look, the boys, they just handling their business. <laughs> they trying to get their thing off. 
This is the word of unrighteousness. How do you gonna get in trouble for that? This is the word of unrighteousness. I wish I had me a teacher like that, you know? <laughs> man, I, I, I used to dream about banging oh, my man. teachers. My, I, I mean, I never in my life ever am I gonna forget Miss Adair. Man. What's her name, man? Miss Adair, she stayed right up down there by the Franklin Park. Why can't that shit happen to me, man? Great big, got a great big gulp in there. I, I get it. hips and thighs. I always got to happen to somebody else. Okay, I can't get no teacher. Couldn't get up and go to the chalkboard because your shit is hard. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> you got to wait. You got to wait. Right, 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 Back to Romans 6, it says, three, it's like, actually, we're like, we're going to uh, 7 now, since it's close, uh, 7 and, uh, or is it at 10 or 11, it's like 12. It says, wherefore the law is holy, and the commandment holy and just and good. I say the law is just and good. Everything the law said in the Old Testament, like, don't, don't be a faggot, don't commit adultery, don't eat pork, all that, that's there for your good. Go ahead. But then that which is good made different to me, God forbid, but sin that it might appear might appear sin, working death for me by the which is good, that sin by the commandment might be become um, exceedingly sinful. Yeah. Uh, for we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, so in the sin. They the law they say the law is spiritual. You know the law is carnal, so the law is spiritual too though. I realize while some sins are worth death. Yeah. Like adultery. Man, you, you commit adultery, especially once you know the truth. We all actually commit adultery. But it's like, people always think they free of sin. They, I ain't never committed adultery. If you had sex with a girl or a woman who's not a virgin, then you committed adultery. I see. I bet you got one of them bitches when something probably is. But I bet you got one is a, a virgin when they Oh, you know that. So we all are guilty of adultery unless you a virgin. Well, actually, that's another thing. Another thing that this fucked up world teaches, they teach you that a man can be a virgin. <laughs> you ever do the etymology on the word virgin? You look up the word virgin, it means a chaste woman in like a religious sense. It it never means a man. A man cannot be a virgin. A man can't get his cherry pop unless he's a faggot and gets raped in jail. A man cannot, you know what I mean? A man cannot get his fucking shit pop. When you there's a reason why a woman loses a virginity because when you, you actually gotta get up in there and pop that bitch, you know what I mean? Cause they try to say, oh the vert you know, these people are just losers, man. <laughs> they they teach you that the men can be virgins. That's just some faggot shit up there, there's no such thing as men being virgins. How can a man be a virgin? That doesn't even make sense. This, uh, I just, just came to mind when you brought up how you want to say it. Second Timothy, this know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, confessions, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. They some unthankful, unholy motherfuckers. Yeah, you don't never hear no scriptures come out of nobody's mouth. Even yesterday was Easter, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, love Jesus. This is Jesus is great. You know, sweet Jesus, love him. Now, how can this is everybody in the Easter Jesus spirit. How can y'all ain't got no scriptures? Y'all, how many people you hear hitting scriptures yesterday? None. Hey, but you saw him sitting in front of the TV watching the, uh, the religious shows, though. Oh, know? watching that bullshit. Yeah, you know. Shit, they was watching. Uh, they was on all day. They, they was watching the final, marathon. final four. Yeah. That's what they was watching. Go yeah, they garbage ass Michigan. You that tells you the. Boys, the Michigan is like they got pink shoes. Oh, I know. That's some faggot shit right there. That tells you the state we in. Goddamn Michigan's basketball team wears pink shoes. And it's not for breast cancer either. Which, that's not a good excuse to wear pink. There's no, under no circumstances should a man ever wear pink. You know what I mean? Oh, Villanova. I hope they destroy them. I was telling myself Michigan's going to make it. I don't know how they made it. I stopped watching after I hell. After Ohio State. Uh, Watch them play? Yeah, I watched Ohio State all year. 
After Ohio State lost, I was out of there. They split through the no Ohio State be on the whole time. I think they split it. Yeah. But yeah, Ohio State, that shit was rigged, bro. They're not high. That's why all sports are That's why you all sports are fixed. <laughs> bro, I'll tell you, you watch Ohio State game, it's proof that shit was fake. <laughs> Motherfucker Gonzaga got it. At least it was like 20 to 10 free throws. They got like 50%, 75% more free throws. That's how they control the game. College football, I mean college. College sports are the worst. It was obvious too. It and was the college football, obvious. I can't. Man, I'm, I'm, I might just give up on college altogether. The, the pros is rigged too, though. You know when they the house they lost, man. They had been talking about getting rid of that coach, man. They, they ain't going nowhere. Oh, the new coach? Yeah, I did. About, they was talking about getting rid of him already. He looked like a gangster. <laughs> you know what I mean? He lived. I like him. But NCAA is on the way out though, because they got all these. Uh, because you know what, really, the NCAA is modern day slavery. That, that's forced slave labor. They're getting all these players to play on these basketball teams for free, and they're making billions of dollars off of them. That's like modern day slavery. And then you look at pro professional uh, basketball, too, you might think, well, these guys make a lot of money. But when you hear them talk on Sports Center, they talk about trading people for other people. It's talking about we sold him to this team. So they actually own you. You know what I mean? That's right. They got them contracts and they actually own you. They don't give a damn. They're stupid. Man. They give them a little, you know, a little money and they, they think they something. All the powers in their hands. But, but them players got no power there. They can't play for what team they want to play for. Right. That's crazy how they can actually organize and run shit though, if they actually put their heads and mind to it. Man. And who runs? Their minds. Just, and we got to serve master, man. We got to serve master. Who runs the NBA? Right. I'm going back to this Timothy. All right. Um, uh, verse 3, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, and conduct, fierce despisers of those that are good. All they despisers, oh, that's these little bastards that they despise those who do good. The only people that do good is the Israelites. That's us, the elect of Israel. Brothers, go out here doing the work. Who else you see doing good? You know what I mean? There ain't nobody out here doing no good. What, what did the Christians do? They pass out sandwiches, feed people. That's all they do. Faith based Israelites. They got no scriptures. They ain't teaching you that you're an Israelite. They ain't teaching you not, not much of nothing. They are truth breakers, false accusers, and cotton, fierce despisers of those that are good. Despisers of those that are good. There it is again. Traitors. Because if you right, traitors, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Benedict Arnolds. All right, that's another thing. You can't you can't nobody's word means Israelites. shit no more. Israelite. Oh, yeah. Yo, you're an Israelite. But yeah, nobody's word means shit no more. You can't take nobody's word no more. No, you can't trust what a person tell you or rely. If they say they're gonna be there, like on Tuesday at three o'clock, you just you might as well guess they they ain't gonna show up. You know. Needy, high-minded lovers of pleasure, or the lovers of the most time. All lovers, all oh, that's what you could, you could speak on that one for hours. Lovers of pleasure more than the most high. It you is. know I got IUIC still on my mind. Oh, go ahead. No, nah, go, nah, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I, was, I had something out I'm about thinking, it. that's all I'm thinking about them motherfuckers. Yeah. They, they worldly people, man. Really? They yeah. worldly ass niggas, man. You know, you know they out vacation and having a good fucking hey, time. Hey, they all about man. the party, you know. Right. We like to party too, but, uh, you know, we ain't into this truth just to have a good time and all that. Right. We like to kick back some drinks, you know. Birds and fringes and shit. Yeah, them guys, they teach you for it. Burgers and fringes. I can't believe that shit. They all about, look, they all about the, the flesh and carnage. That's why they all wear the same. They all got, like, uniform outfits. They all wear the exact same purple clothes, looking like a fraternity. And uh, Actually, there's a fraternity. I think it's called the Spy Omega Phi Psi, something like that. I can look it up. And they got the exact same colors and everything, purple and gold. Oh, what? Yeah, purple and gold right. color. That's why, uh... Right. I know Stephen A. Smith is part of it. All kind of famous uh, black people part of it. Yeah. It was started at Howard University. So they could be controlled by some high up. You know, but the fraternities are probably involved with IUIC. I mean, they using all that purple symbolism hard. I mean, they hard with it. With that purple and that gold, you know what I mean? It's I see like that. Go to jail or prison. It's all, yeah, it's just like gang they, they let you know through their colors. That's why you see, all, we all got different garments. 
You know why? Because we all got different spirits. I mean, we all individuals, but we all, you know, we like Voltron. We come together, you know, to form that, that one unstoppable Voltron. You don't know about that. Oh, the constructor con? That was my shit, boy. I was bad. You could. I didn't have all. I had like one of them. That was a big motherfucker. Yeah. Only like the Yeah, I fucks with the Decepticons. I swear I ain't never. Except I like jazz though. Jazz is my man. I ain't never like none of the other ones. I like a couple of. Jazz is black ass too. This one we talking about. Who about Gridlock? Gridlock went hard. I ain't like him. Yeah, the Decepticons were way better. Megatron, man, he went too hard. The Galvatron, that's a hey, that's a thing. Megatron had that ruling class mentality. He's, a, he's like the hell with these goddamn humans. We gonna conquer these little weaklings. Yeah, he always an uncle. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh, Optimus Prime is big Uncle Tom. This, these TV shows always get it wrong. The bad guy is always the good guy, in almost all the shows. Oh yeah. All Superman's a big fat guy. Which one? The newer one. The newer Superman. I don't think I ain't seen it. So, oh, that, would, would, did that have a general? Uh, general, yeah. General. I couldn't remember his name, but General Zod. General Zod. He was actually a cool motherfucking character. Man. I always liked Zod. Yeah. Uh, I like the actual actor that played him. Though. I haven't seen I still need to watch that. That's my man. Oh, that's good. Motherfucking school. That's a fucking movie. Fuck you. Fuck you, man. Fuck you, man. Happening for him. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. And of this sort are they which creep into houses creep. and lead captive silly women laid with sin. Oh, that's the IUIC for real right there. That's, that's why I got it because of that scripture. Hey, that's for real right there. That's for real, for real. They lead them little Hi, silly women. What's good with you? They got all the silly women up in there. They get them. Because when you look at IUIC videos and stuff, they usually see more women than men a lot of times. 